Let's go! TikTok! Ooh. Today we're going to go through the ones I favorited on my phone. Because I either went, oof, or haha. -ha. <laughs> Check it out. Why spend $700 a month on an apartment when you can literally buy a van and spend. Because I don't want to live in a fucking van. What? Because <laughs> I don't want to live in a fucking van. What? I love this one. Good energy. Marcia just sent me a picture. <laughs> I'm not doing it, baby. Nothing's happening. Oh. <laughs> They're so dramatic. We're like cutting up this little at the top of their nails and it's just like murdering them. <laughs> oh, she sent me another one. All right, she asked if I have this TikTok filter. Hey, it works on people too, great. I wanna try it. <laughs> See, I'm getting actual funny ones now. I think this is what people said in the beginning, it's cringe, but then the algorithm will pick up. Don't worry, I still go through an ungodly amount of cringe. For example, if you pass somebody at work, you go, what? and what you're saying is, are you all right? Yeah, yeah. It took me eight years to learn. You all right? You all right? And I'm like, what the fuck is that sound? If you actually answer the question of, eh? then that's fucking rude. I don't want to talk about how you're feeling <laughs> when I'm saying, eh? that's just a passing hello. Don't actually have the- Yeah, I didn't know this either. This took me way too long to figure out. You're not supposed to, if someone asks, are you all right? You're not supposed to say, thank you, I'm good. Actually, it doesn't work like that at all, and I don't understand how we've gotten here. You alright? You alright? How is that the proper response? I don't get it. How am I the awkward one? I don't get it. You alright? 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 You alright, mate? You alright, mate? They say it many times too. You can meet the same person twice in the day and they just go, you alright? Oh yeah, I remember why I said this. Because it didn't make me flinch whatsoever. And I wanted to show it. What is this? Why are they pretending like they never seen it? SHUT UP! STOP REPLYING! This man was being interviewed by a news team about almost getting hit by a car, and in the yeah, middle of yeah, the interview, I've seen this. this happened. The thing is, it's one of the greatest clips of all time. So I, I've seen this before and I asked, there's no way this is real. And everyone in the comments was like, you know it's real. It's the greatest clip of all time. No one will ever be as cool as that guy right there. Oh yeah. This is the greatest TikTok. What is he saying? He's saying so little, but also so much. Old man, teach us your wisdom. <laughs> Can anyone lip read? Can anyone tell me what he says? He seems like he had a lot on his mind. <laughs> so clearly some old dude just replied and <laughs> didn't have his part. <laughs> That's exactly what I was trying to say. A little controversial, but I agree, man. Old man of wisdom. <laughs> Teach us your way. <laughs> Jerry, be nice. She's no, just stop. she's Jerry. just trying to swim. I don't kill. Yeah, she wants to swim, to Jerry. Swim. Kill her, Jerry. Kill her, Jerry. Kill her, Get rid of that thought. Oh, yeah, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, and then she yeah. died. Kezurokai is a Japanese competition where you shave wood super thin. The current record for the thinnest shave is about four microns, which is half the width of a human red blood cell. <laughs> I don't I don't remember why I saved this. <laughs> I think it's the way he's just like Kazurukai. Four microns, which is it's half thinnest. the width of I don't care. A human red Holy shit, I'm so sick of info tech talks telling me shit I don't need to know. They they shave thin wood. Who gives a fuck? And I love Japan, okay? I understand it's an impressive craftsmanship, but 
My god, are we pretending like this matters? <laughs> what the fuck? Shave wood super thin. I didn't ask. The current record for I didn't ask. Shave okay? I know I sound a little rude, four, but I didn't ask, okay? Is... I don't care about thin shaved wood. No! No! Is this is that the guy from Top Gear? What is that meme? I've seen this meme. Oh no. Oh. Excuse me, I'm part West African, he screams. Uh huh. Okay. Do you suggest something more exciting? How about that, huh? Can you just like. Fine. Okay, fine. Anyways, interest rates just went up. Which means that the money supply has been short. <laughs> Do you suggest something more exciting? How about that, huh? Can you just like. Fine. Some great Patrick Bateman uh, energy in this. I love it. <laughs> Oh yeah, he dies. Spoiler, sorry, I didn't mean to ruin it. <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't, I think. Yeah, he's fine. Is that part of the gag for the guy to run out? Because then that's brilliant. Make it seem like I actually got run over. <laughs> I don't know, I, it's not even, it makes me laugh. I only do touch your body. Let's go. Bruh, I can do this. Get out of here. Woo! Right? Yeah. I can do that. Get out of here. Oh in the UK really Oh yeah, this is great. Peckham like it's Italy. Everyone in UK pretending they're living on a tropical People island. In the UK really out here <laughs> treating Peckham like it's Italy. We do this in Sweden too, actually, and I don't understand why people love sitting outdoors so much when it's clearly fucking freezing. I get that it's like a COVID thing, right? But in Sweden we do it regardless, and I don't get it. Can I scan this? Hey, PewDiePie oh. meme. So I saw this, it's kind of funny seeing yourself pop up on TikTok, right? But they didn't pick the greatest clip of all time from Subnautica that I had. No one's talking about how fucking funny this is. So I was telling this story how, when I was a child, I got scared of barracudas. So I was fishy smishy fishing, uh, as you do as a Swedish, but I put the egg in there. Looking at the fishes, it was all relaxing, it was all nice. It was wonderful. It was so cool, you could like swim up to fish and be like, hey, do that. Uh, but then, all of a sudden, all the fishes just vroom, And I was like, oh, that's weird. And I'm like out pretty far as well, like this. It was basically like this. You see all the fishes <laughs> just fly away and I'm like, all right, strange. Guess fishes do that. No, they don't. In out of nowhere comes a giant fish with teeth sticking out, like in my peripheral. <laughs> <laughs> I was that on the best clip ever. <laughs> and it comes swimming in my peripheral. Giant <clears throat> fish. I will never have such perfect timing. Like in my peripheral. <laughs> 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 Alright, moving on. That's a great edit. Phen phenomenal job. <laughs> I don't know why someone decided to do this, but I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Isn't this a bit cringe? TikTok went hard on uh, Prince Philip dying, which, yeah, okay. But uh, that's just lame, dude. <laughs> oh, Bean movie! <laughs> Let's send him the Bean movie! I <laughs> had the whole script! <laughs> I don't get it. Davis, what is this? What does this do in your fancy car? Oh my gosh, I'm planning an airstrike! <laughs> Davis, what is this? What does Sick. this do? I want that car. I want to plan an airstrike. Oh my gosh, I'm planning an airstrike! <laughs> it's funny, I've forgotten these by this point. Your main form of comedy is saying, sheesh, maybe you should think about going into an engineering degree because comedy isn't for you. Bitch, is it just me or is any bitch? Is it just me or did any bitch? Just a reminder that the bitch, just a reminder, bitch, is it just me or is it? Could you got a bitch? I used to hate the bitch. <laughs> bitch, is it just me or she? Hey. You sound like a goddamn seagull. How's it going? No. I've actually got something for you. This is the bread that you asked me to get, and you can now go make me a sandwich. 
top YouTubers who are sex dead. Shame on you. Can't believe it. I was busy thinking about Again, they don't know how to have damage built. This is the second fucking time. <laughs> it's not real. It can't be made. It can't be done. So therefore aliens, right? TikTok can't fan them. They're being dams. I mean, the board was already there. Did you know, for the dodgeball scene of Billy Madison, made in 1995, Adam Sandler was really hitting the kids as hard as he could, because, as he says, and this is a real quote, hitting kids is funny. The director cut right before they started crying, and some of the parents even got upset with him. What is this? Why are you replying? Go away! Shush! Shush! You're not supposed to be there! Anyway, I know I'm doing the same thing. Moving on. <clears throat> <laughs> that guy needs an engineering degree. No engineering degree. <laughs> Look at that shit. <laughs> so fucking confidently, too. Uh huh. It's like that scene in uh, Koei no Katachi or whatever. So I've added me in here. I feel like I can really add something. Wow, thank you. Wow, that's so cool. If girls are so smart. Then what's wrong with this video? Oh, I'm not a girl and I honestly can't tell you. Is it the ancient debris? You can find netherite anywhere in the nether. Oh my god, you didn't know that? You didn't know that, you fucking noob? It's just more likely to be more around 15, 19 or whatever, I don't remember. This video got 11.6 million views for sliding a Red Bull can into a water jug. Congrats to this creator. Well done. Man, sometimes it just makes you wonder. Congrats to this creator. He just made it into a PewDiePie TikTok video by sliding a Red Bull ball and a ba ba da Congrats to this creator. Congrats to this creator. Her house is on fire! That mom. Why would you do that? It's not even funny. Her house is on fire, bitch. Child abuse. Someone report this, please. Her house is already getting griefed, and you turn up the fucking TV? Not cool. Fuck you. All right. I saved this because I wanted to try it out. Dolly. That was not how you spelled it. Oh uh, no, it was right there. Okay. A painting of a capybara sitting in a field at sunrise. <laughs> cool. <laughs> The singularity is coming, boys. An armchair in the shape of an avocado. That's kind of sick. They had like a actual fabric looking one. <laughs> they like it. capybaras, huh? An extreme close-up view sitting in a field. That is extreme, I'm not gonna lie. More capybaras <laughs> with voxels. Oh, cool. Oh yeah, this, this is, is great. interesting piece, Mr. Ipkes. Looks like 4th or 5th century Scandinavian. Possibly a representation of one of the Norse night gods. Maybe Loki. Loki? I can't tell if they're joking or not. Do people actually think Loki is made by Marvel? <laughs> oh my god! The, it's canon! <laughs> it exists in the ma the mask universe. Wow! Draw the pump down here. Thanks. Okay, have a good one. Yeah, that thing's been living there for ages. Ew. <laughs> here you go. I don't really want it. <laughs> Yeah, it's for you. <laughs> oh, so good. Hey, Josh, look at this huge moth that I found. Oh, look at this <laughs> <laughs> you fucker. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's cool. Get it out of here, man. Yeah, it's cool. Get it out of here, man. It's a beautiful what I found. It's the dining room. Oh, that is a lovely size room. Yes, they are big in these houses. Most of them have been converted into flats, so to get one like this, bit of a lucky find. How many bedrooms is it? It's two, but there is the box room, which could be an office or could be used as a third bedroom. Mm, I think we definitely need three double bedrooms. Did I ox you? <laughs> Did I ox you? <laughs> What is this from? <laughs> Did I ask you? I feel like this is what the real estate agents always want to do. They always put on such a fucking smile, don't they? This is great, isn't it? 
No, we need t three bedrooms. Might be the greatest snooker shot we'll ever see. Gilbert. Let's go, Gilbert. Smashed it, Gilbert. Well done. <laughs> hey, I can do that. <laughs> I do that all the time. Well, ain't that a surprise? Kind of warming up to this. I'm not sure, so sure what I feel about it, to be honest. But if you enjoyed, smash like, subscribe, check out G Fuel. Link is in the description. Stock up. See you tomorrow, bro. First.